are now listening to Lower Road Radio. Hey, welcome one and all to the number one podcast, winter, spring, and fall. Talking sports for the thrill of it all. Hey, talking life, but we're killing it all. Jason and Dan with the master plan. These are dangerous men with the mic in the hand, huh? Bona five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Lower Road Radio. Dad life, good life, bright lights in sight. All right, what? Dad life, good life, bright lights in sight. All right, yeah. Dad life, good life, bright lights in sight. Sight, all right. Four to five winners everywhere that we go. You're a part of the team. Raw Raw Radio. Let's get it. What? At Tanagra, when the walls fell, this is Dan Oakes coming at you another time for Lower Road Radio with my co-host, as always, Jason. How you doing today? Good. So right off the bat, right um, off the bat, right off the bat, we post this show to multiple. Do you think pl- that's a baseball term or like a like a animal bat term? Like fleas right off the bat. Like that's where the phrase comes from. Yeah. Like right off the bat, like a flea. Like, to, yeah. Nothing else makes sense to me. As a third option. <laughs> you mean it's it's one of those two. Well, I think like it's your only bat. Way. Like a crazy old bat. Like a crazy person. Isn't that a when phrase? When you call a person a crazy old bat, are you referring to them as a, the animal or the... the, the uh, is there a third option? I don't know. Is there another kind of bat? Well, like folklore with dracula turns into a bat so maybe it's like more of a vampire dracula type of thing hmm this requires more thought possibly some research but one thing we know like a flea right off the back of a bat (laughs) is what you're going to talk about so we post this um to multiple formats multiple an audio sense some people don't we do we We care about you enough yeah we say you know what okay let's let me get to my point (laughs) right off the bat audio it's everywhere any source you can find it if you can listen to things you can probably find the show the other day i was at a funeral oh my gosh i got like important stuff and the funeral director came up to me (laughs) afterwards just shooting the breeze like you do yeah and he said uh what what radio station you listen to and I was like, ah, I don't, I don't listen to radio. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> I was like, I don't listen to the radio. Yeah. And he goes, what do you mean you don't listen to the radio? <laughs> I was like, I listen to my phone, you know? Right. He's like, well, what in your car? I was like, my phone. Yeah. Well, how do you listen to music? My phone. <laughs> this older guy. Yeah. He's like, oh. And he was like so hurt. He's like, well... Yeah. About because 20, he advertises he, on the radio. No, he's like, no, for about 25 years, I, I'm a DJ at Tuesday nights on this uh, gospel <laughs> hour, and I was going to tell you to listen to it. And he's like, you should still check it out. It's whenever, I was like, yeah, man, I'll do that. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I don't know how to turn my radio on, but <laughs> I'll listen to you. Yeah. I felt bad for the guy. I was like, I crushed him. Like, he 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 uh, somehow has gotten all the way to 2020 and not realized that people don't listen to the radio anymore, yeah. and he was crushed. I mean, you just, should have said Lower Road Radio. Just crushed. What radio station? Lower Road Radio. <laughs> like, what? What is that? Well, you don't. You don't know Lower Road. <laughs> you don't know Lower Road. Radio? <laughs> That's what I should have done. What radio do you listen? What radio station do you listen? I to? mean, it was such a Lower Road. I mean, that's that's a question that he's been asking people for his entire life. Yeah, for 50, 60 years. So l- lately, I've been listening to fourteen ninety WMRN. <laughs> I have been. Yeah. And um, it's fun. What do they carry on 1490? Well, so, because I'm still caught up in this election nonsense. Hmm? So, sh- yeah, Sean Hannity, um, Glenn oh, Beck, yeah, you're one of Rush guys. Limbaugh. Yeah. And um, Well, you know, there's not really a liberal option. I guess there's NPR, so you could listen to NPR. Like anything that's not them is liberal. Well, I'm not, I don't think there's a lot of talk radio that's liberal. No, there's not a lot. Well, not here. Yeah. Nobody would listen to it. True. We carried Trump, by the way. I mean, Ohio was flying. You know, Ohio did its job. We did our job. So. If you want Trump to win, which we maybe do, maybe don't. Oh, we I don't. do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I listen to local. I haven't heard Tradio in a while. I wouldn't mind finding a listen, Tradio program. I'll I'll just, can I just go on record? Yeah. Jason and I will sit down. Yes. And we will fill in for Tradio. Anytime. Anytime. You call us day or night. You know how great that would be? We oh. Listen, we need to talk to Marion online Marion Ohio News Network. You think he can make that happen? Yeah, but like we might need to rebrand it. Do our radio own might tradeo. be. Yeah, we'll do our own tradeo. Like every Saturday morning. Tr- Tradecast. 
<laughs> I'm just trying to think of another way. Retrade. Trade tube. Trade tube. Trade tube. Like Kinda YouTube? Like YouTube, trade tube. We just live stream it. Yeah, I got a uh, 1975 <laughs> electronic <laughs> blender. Um, <laughs> one of the spools is missing. And the cord needs repaired. But <laughs> it seems to work just fine. I'm looking for... Uh, three to seven pounds of coal. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, a Schwinn bike, a twenty seven inch wheel. I need a tire tube for that, <laughs> and I'm willing to trade. Uh, well, just about anything. <laughs> um, I got my my aunt. Uh, she recently deceased, and she <laughs> left me. Some uh, German salt shakers. I am looking for interesting trade offers. <laughs> I know that you don't deal and trade with animals, but we have this hamster. Excuse me, sir. We I have need this hamster. To, that, we, who let this call through? <laughs> I'm looking for someone to plow my driveway. Uh, Ma'am, we've had 32 different people come on the show with their phone number willing to just call one of them. That's the one that kills me. I was yeah. listening to Trading one Saturday morning, yeah. and it's fun. It's entertaining. And people would call and say, I've got a plow truck. Here's my phone number. Call mm -hmm. me. I'll come plow your driveway. Mm -hmm. Like 32 different plow truck guys did mm -hmm. that. And some lady, um, I need someone to come plow my driveway. <laughs> Have you been listening? This whole time, there's like 32 guys offering to do this. Mm -hmm. And then the guy will, will who who's not... I, I don't who who I don't know who I've not listened to Tradio in a while. Unfortunately, it's been years. Yeah, but it, it doesn't seem like they've caught up with the times. That there are more efficient ways to get this information across. Well, there's lots of people that don't access the internet. I guess. I guess that's true. You know, if mm -hmm. you don't have, if you don't know how to use the internet, mm -hmm. this is your inter internet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, information of you know. I think I got a squirrel <laughs> trapped in my. Dryer vent pipe. Uh, it seems to be making a sound, but the sound may have stopped. <laughs> Looking for someone to remove dead squirrel. Uh, you can keep the squirrel. <laughs> I have some scrap metal sitting out back. <laughs> scrap metal is a great one. Scrap. I have some scrap metal I need hauling away. Mm -hmm. And um, but if you take some, you have to take it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh-huh yeah yeah mm -hmm. a tradio is great we should host a tradio program i i would love that i mean honestly that just, would make me so and i'd play it straight i wouldn't make fun of the people yeah as much as you know i would be tempted to i'd, I'd well there's two it. ways to do this uh -huh. either we're we just make fun of the whole thing at which point it's a comedy bit or yeah. it's we're playing it straight straight laced i think Here you just play it straight and you yeah. just do the tradio just the way god intended <laughs> you know I have some scrap metal. I have some. 72 tiny toothbrushes. <laughs> I used to work at a toothbrush factory. And when it closed, I have boxes of toothbrushes. <laughs> I have some prototype toothbrushes that never... <laughs> um, I'm moving and I'm looking for some boxes. Um, preferably sturdy boxes. If anybody has any sturdy boxes, I'd be willing to come pick them up. I will bring them back to you when I am done with them. <laughs> uh, anyway, right off the bat, this is important. Right off the flea off of a bat. So audio, you can listen to it anywhere. Anywhere. Video, we post it on YouTube and Facebook and all these places. Recently, we started posting it on a place called Rumble. Mm. So Rumble... Um, and and parlor is another one, but we don't do video on parlor. Parlor is like a new social media, okay. but they don't censor. So like, there's like, lots like of conservatives that. on there posting as there would be conservative stuff, which I appreciate. Locals but, is the same way. Locals is a a, a Dave Rubin uh, okay. creation. Well, stuff. parlor's part of the Dan Bongino stuff. You like Dan? Bongino. I do like Dan Bongino, and Dan Bongino is also associated with Rumble. So mm -hmm. Rumble's like a video site. Right. Here's my problem with Rumble. And this is why I bring all this up. When you post to Rumble, they analyze the video before it goes live. Mm -hmm. YouTube, it's live instantly. I see. Facebook, it's live instantly. Mm -hmm. Rumble, I posted our show one week ago. 
Yeah. It's still analyzing. Why? I don't know. I don't know if someone is physically watching these videos and saying that's good or that's not good. Or if it Isn't compete. that the whole point that they don't censor? No, that's parlor. Oh. Rumble is something different. I'm not sure. I don't know. It just is bothering me. We've hey. got two videos sitting on Rumble right now. So you think there's a guy the with a stack of VHS tapes somewhere just yeah. watching one Rumble well, video? Someone has another. to do it. Like that guy on a fistful of uh, quarters. Yes. It's yeah. his whole Watch life. Eight hours at a time, like analyzing every video that comes through, mm-hmm. you know. I recently told a couple people to watch that. Oh, yeah. A married couple, our age, I just knew it would be perfect. Yeah. I was like, you guys are going to love this. So they watched it, and they said, when we first turned it on, we thought, is Dan messing with us? Yeah. You know? And then they're like, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It's the great... If you don't know, if we can provide one public service, yeah, it's not to, you know, tell you who to vote for. Yeah. It's not to remind you to, you know, I don't know, uh, wash your hands. Yeah. It's to go watch King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, that's, and thank us. That's the number one documentary. I think number two is Barkley Marathons. It's yeah, that's, I love Barkley. I'd have to do some more thinking about that, but I mean, Barkley Marathons is great too. It's, they're right up there. It's uh-huh. one and one A. Feels like there's an obvious one that I'm missing, but yeah, those are both. We'll I mean, come back around Le- next week. Trail of Broken Promises. Okay, let's do the Mount Rushmore of. Docs. Okay. Or maybe we'll just do our top five docs. Okay. You know I love a documentary. Dude, docs are the best. I love them. There's recently a newer one. The Free Solo was a great one. Yeah, that one was very good. It was... um, Eventually, that guy got annoying to me. So it's about this guy that... Free climbs. Free climbs. Yeah. I mean, he's... No ropes, no nothing. He's just By definition, he's one of the more selfish people on the face of the earth. Why? Well, because this thing is, I mean, he can't have actual attachments. He, this is all about him. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It is, but I mean, it, from the purest definition of the word selfish, he is just selfish. It is about himself. And for me, his eventually his persona weared on me. Uh, eventually okay. I was kind of like, I'm this fascinated guy. by it. Like it's fascinating. There's, the act of it is fascinating. There's so much. But there's a lot of that guy eventually for yeah. me. I watched a Bigfoot documentary the other day. What? Which one? I've seen them all. It's on Amazon. Okay. And I think it was called like either finding Bigfoot or in the trail of Bigfoot. Yeah. I've seen them. There was a, um, a, a it's kind of started off in Northeast Ohio. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. In Minerva. The, uh, what do they call the... Uh, Ohio Grassman. The Ohio Grassman. Yeah. Fascinating. Did you listen to the Nate Land about Bigfoot? That's why I watched yeah. it. I didn't know about the Dogman. Did you know about the Dogman? <laughs> I've known about the Dogman for years. Do you believe in the Dogman? Um, I think the Dogman is more of a spiritual creature. Funny, I think thing. Bigfoot is a physical creature. Oh, I know we don't exist to break down other podcasts but i thought it was so funny when he said he said uh, you know to, to be the guy at the bigfoot convention that's bringing up dog man and he's like man kind of like dude like let's just figure this bigfoot thing out first and then we'll work on the dog man what you don't believe in dog man no of course i believe in dog man of course i do but let's yeah. just get this one yeah, first one thing at a time <laughs> yeah what you don't believe in? of course i believe in dog man. <laughs> No, I do. I, I'm kind of... Listen, there's not much I don't believe in. No, you're a believer. I am a believer. Mm-hmm. You tell me you saw it, I believe you. That's enough. You say you saw a UFO, I believe you. I saw a monkey in Waldo. I don't believe that. I know you don't, <laughs> but I did. Why is there a monkey in Waldo? Why is there anything anywhere? Because Why is there real. a dog man in Michigan? I don't know. <laughs> there was a monkey eating something by a mailbox... In Waldo, on the ground. Like a chimpanzee? It, uh, you know, like a orangutan? What no, type of no, monkey? No, 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 no. It was about like that tall. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was like- Like a, a circus monkey. N- no, because it was sitting. So maybe if it was standing, it might be as tall as the mailbox. Wow. Maybe. That's a pretty good sized monkey. it was just kind of sitting there just eating something right by a mailbox. <laughs> and I just kept on driving to my ever living regret you'd stop would today if you drove past that I would was, you stop it was a dark time in my life it was really um 
I had a lot of stuff on my mind. And How long ago was this? This was six years ago. Okay. It was right after our mom passed. Okay. So I was going to dad's house. I had just picked up GNR, and I was going to watch a football game, and there was a monkey. <laughs> and I couldn't tell dad. Are you sure it's not post-traumatic stress? Like you're imagining things? No, it was definitely a monkey. Did you but know? After, it ha- after I drove by, I was like... <sighs> You know what I mean? It was just so, it was such a weird thing, yeah. you know, but it was definitely a monkey. Did you know that PTSD, they've taken off the D? It's just pro post traumatic stress. Traumatic stress. It's not a disorder. It's just a order. Yeah. Well, the by implying it's a disorder means that you're, you have a problem, which oh. you do, but it's just stress, which can be alleviated. Sure. Well, anyway. You, you saw know, a monkey in Waldo, and you don't believe me. I what? Well, listen, you you just said. I just think if you, ha- you say you believe if you saw something, then I believe you. Yeah, I tell you something I saw, and for you the, don't believe for the me. most part. <laughs> I mean, you're going through some things, you know. Yeah, I'm sure that nobody that you know sees a Bigfoot. How come nobody else reported this monkey? I don't know what they did. I checked the news the next day. I couldn't find it. I mean, literally, there are hundreds of Bigfoot sightings, and they're all reported. I mean, just nationwide, all over the place. So. I mean, how many Still people? Still never found them. Well, it's not documented. I think lots of people find them. They see them all the time. They're, they didn't shoot them and bring them back to the scientist. Well, that's what whatever needs that to is. happen. We need to trust the science on this one. <laughs> I hate that, by the way. I know. I don't like it either. Like, don't I'm even not get, anti-science. Don't even get me started. I, I'm Follow the science. I am. Dan, I'm, follow the science. Listen, I am on record. Yeah. As being anti science. <laughs> <laughs> so don't even get me started. Okay. So are you ready? Three and three? Sure. Okay. So as you know, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. Yes, you have. I went down the road of the 30 for 30 podcast. Mm-hmm. We're not a sports show. No. We do from time to time talk about sports. It's who we are. It's who we are. Less of who we are today than we were 10 years ago. Admittedly. And 20 years ago, even more so. I watched maybe five to 10 minutes of, we, we were watching, um, <clears throat> you know, the family we watched, Blue Bloods, on Amazon Prime. With Tom Selleck. Listen, Tom Selleck, there's but, a conservative guy. Yeah. You know, you should like Tom Selleck. I do like you Tom Selleck. You would like Blue Bloods. Yeah, maybe. Donnie Wahlberg? Are you kidding? Donnie from <laughs> New Kids Do- on the Block? Donnie Wahlberg? Donnie from New Kids on the Block? Um, you know, Mark Wahlberg has car dealerships in Columbus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, we, we were making fun of him one day. Hi, I'm Mark Wahlberg. Come buy a car from me. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound like Mark Wahlberg? No. But okay. it was funny when, at the time, it was really, really funny. I mean, that Hi, was. I'm Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Come buy a car from me. <laughs> Was there car commercials there are the worst involved? Yes, when this was funny? I may have had a little bit of whiskey in my system because um, uh, I'm Magwabo. That's not even a. <laughs> I don't know who that sounds like. It sounds like somebody, but it definitely does not sound like Mark Wahlberg. Come by a car for me. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a Boston accent? No, I don't know. Why does Mark Wahlberg have car dealerships in Columbus? I bet he's making money. I'd buy a car from him. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I, uh, so we were in between Blue Bloods. Uh, the Erica told the kids, "Hey, go, you know, do something else." And Erica had to run an errand, and then if we all get done by X amount of time, we'll, we can watch another one before we go to bed. Special treat. Special treat. family gather around. Another Blue Bloods. Pop some we're gonna, popcorn. We're gonna have some discussion about. You know, New York City police tactics. <laughs> um, From 1986. So I had 15 minutes to do as I pleased, which has not happened in about 15 years. Yeah. And so I turned on, uh, on Amazon, they carry the, the Thursday Night Football. So I turned on the Packers and the 49ers. I watched it for like five minutes and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> Which used to be my life. Yeah. There was Thursday night football. There was Monday night football. Oh, yeah. There was Tuesday night college football. Yeah. There was Saturday football all day. Sunday football all day. That left only two, only Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Were non football days for me. Everything else was yeah. a 
the day was centered around getting home for that football game. And now I had the opportunity to watch five minutes of it. And I was like, Ugh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm done. So what's your ESPN 30 for 30? The Dan and Dave episode. Oh, yeah. Have That's you, have you listened to it? Yeah. I was obviously on Team Dan. And I was Team Dave. Obviously. Dave was older and better. And he wasn't Dan. That was the thing he had going for him. He was. I was going to vote... I was going to be on Team Dan no matter what because his name was Dan, and you were going to be on the opposite team no matter what because his name wasn't Dan. So, rewinding, Dan and Dave. I didn't know nearly everything about it. Oh, well, we were little. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, mid, it was early 90s, yeah. like 92. It was during the Barcelona yeah. Olympics. Uh, Reebok had been a company for years, but they were marketing to like mom's sneakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it wasn't anything special. Mm-hmm. And they were trying to compete with Nike at the time, like Michael Jordan, the Air Jordans. Uh, do you remember mom picking us a p- pair of Reeboks when we were kids? Do you yeah, remember that? Yeah. I remember going to, uh, what was that store in Columbus? A department store that doesn't exist anymore. It had like a, it wasn't Sears. It was, uh, this I don't know. drive me crazy. And I remember going up the thing and they had a deal on white rebox and all i wanted was nikes because of yeah. michael jordan and i yeah. was like these are mom shoes i was so upset about wearing them i have no memory of that I, I have a specific memory of going up the elevator the escalator yeah what was the name of that department store that used to be in columbus it was columbus only if i could remember it you would know it anyway continue where was it at i don't know columbus when i was a kid it was columbus um so uh, Reebok was trying to break into trying still the Nike world, mm-hmm. and uh, it was expensive to get you know athletes that were marketable. So they went after Dan and Dave, who and that, were, and that was Barcelona, yeah, which was the dream team. It was all oh, massive, which yeah. kind of gave a middle finger to Reebok. Jordan did, yeah, during that time, yeah. So some Reebok's having some problems, yeah. So they went out and got. Uh, two triathletes who, if you win a triathlete, in many ways you could be considered one of the greatest athletes in the world. Mm-hmm. And so they did a whole campaign of who is the greatest athlete in the world, Dan or Dave. Yeah. And two American athletes. Lazarus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> That's funny. I had forgotten that even existed. I know. Me too. Wow. Lazarus. I think that should be re- resurrected. We bring him back. Bring back Lazarus. If you can't resurrect Lazarus, what can you resurrect? <laughs> <laughs> so who's the best athlete in the world? Reebok's going to tell you, Dan or Dave. Right. And so they go through all the um, commercials and all the hype and everybody's talking about it. It was a massive campaign. Massive campaign. Everybody, everybody was talking about it. And you picked a side, you know, Team Dave or Team Dan. Dan. Yeah, Dave. And uh, so they go through the tryouts. Mm-hmm. To make it to the Olympics, yeah, and Dan fails to clear the high, um, yeah, pole vault, yeah, doesn't make the Olympics, yeah, just a massive failure, yeah, and so this whole campaign. Although Dan might have been flopped. the better athlete, I think, I think Dan had more high end potential, mm-hmm. but Dave was a little bit older. Dave was more like this, yeah. yeah. Dave was more steady. Dave won the silver or the bronze that year Mm -hmm. i think bronze third place but in his defense the winners probably were taking steroids so that's probably probably true but third place in the world in a triathlon that's i'll take it phenomenal Mm -hmm. and um i mean he deserved to be in that category of one of the best athletes yeah and um just a you know and then a couple years later dan makes it to the olympics and i think he redeemed himself he got i think maybe gold or silver yeah and um he was just i think he was just a little too young yeah i think dave was at the tail end of it yes yeah their their careers dave was at the tail end dan was at the beginning if they were both in the peak of their careers at that time it would have been perfect yeah yeah it was a great campaign whatever so the triathlon um there's multiple events they do lots of things i was listening to a program the other day and they're talking about just um isn't it the pentathlon isn't a triathlon? Oh three? yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's not. It's deck, decadohedron, decadohedron. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know. It's like 10 events. Yeah, 10 yeah, or 12 yeah. events. I get you. Whatever. Well, I was just thinking the triathlon. It's not the triathlon. Okay. That's biking, running, and swimming. Right. This is like 10 events. Yeah. Dodecahedron. Uh-huh. And, um, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, so there's an event. Instead of high jump, mm-hmm. I want to do a jump. How far can you jump down? Instead Before of how you hurt yourself, yeah, <laughs> I think this would be. That great. doesn't take athletic ability. I no, mean, it kind of does. There's there's a way to land, but you just have to be willing to hurt yourself. You're going to have a field full. It better be the last event you do. What if you? End what if it's the first? What if, what if you end with it? And the guy's like, "Listen, I got to get the gold. I might die. Yeah, but I'm gonna get this gold yeah. if it kills me." Literally, yeah. You know that would happen. People are too I think, competitive. For I think their the rule game. would be that you would have to walk away. <laughs> like you can't just hundred foot splat. I win. Like the gold medal goes to your children. No, it's got you've got to land on your feet. So in in your scenario where because yeah. if you die you lose. Yeah. So so there's a guy on the ground who's like I'm in first place. If this guy beats me, if this guy makes this jump, yeah then I lose. And so that guy falls, hits the ground, dies, blood running out of his head. Yeah. And the guy that was on the ground is Starts like jumping cheering. up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, this is, I, yeah. this is great. Well, I think maybe a, you jump into a sand pit. You know? I mean, not concrete. Sometimes I really like your ideas. Yeah. I think this you know? is a good one. <laughs> this one. I think it's a totally different category. I mean, I think you you are creating some sort of like there could be like a stunt man Olympics. Oh yeah, you yeah, know what I mean, like yeah, yeah. Uh, stuff like that. You know, like like jumping cars, jumping cars. Yeah, um, maybe uh, board a running train. You know what I mean, like how fast can the train be going while you can get on it? Oh, I like that. Yeah, um, you know, um, maybe hanging on to a helicopter. How small of a fire circle could you jump through? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. jump like off of a building. You know what I mean? Into the smallest, uh, like there's like a, a, net. a swimming pool. Well, well, yeah, swimming pool is good. Like, I was thinking a net though that has a target on it. Oh yeah, you know how close I mean? could you how get to the target? How close you yeah. get to the target? I think there could be a stuntman Olympics. Yeah, you know, one of them high jump or low jump. Yeah, jumping off of a, you know, I don't think Into that this is for pit. Olympic athletes. I think you're pr- in hindsight thinking about <laughs> that. I think you might be right. I don't want to say. I, I think I, that would be great to watch. Mm-hmm. You know, what would you call it? The down jump. The down jump, yeah. Okay. The down jump. You jump down. Mm-hmm. And um, I think you have to land on your feet. So, like, you can't touch the ground. Elbows, knees, hands. Like, you have to jump <laughs> feet. Nothing else. No knees, no I elbows. I want to watch this slow motion thing when the, the feet hit the ground and you just the legs are breaking and crushing. <laughs> and the guy's like, do, do his hands touch the ground? Now, obviously, Marv, both of his legs will never be used again. <laughs> but the question is, does his hand touch the ground? His femur is broken. <laughs> But nothing else touches. Well, his left eyeball came out of socket, and I do think that touched the ground, but I don't think his hand did. No hands or knees. He's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think this is great. Mm-hmm. How high could you jump, do you think? How down could I jump? How down could you jump? Okay. <laughs> um, well, my my record... <laughs> so far. So far. So far, yeah. I've jumped out of a... Uh, a pretty high hayloft onto the ground. Okay. Um, did you touch? Did you roll? Oh, I hit and rolled. I okay. mean, that's how I did it. Yeah. You know, there was a bunch of kids at a friend's house. As one does. Yeah. And uh, we were in the barn. And I mean, it was pretty high up. In hindsight. Oh, it was one of the dumber things yeah. I've done. I did a lot of dumb things there. <laughs> I don't know how I lived past that particular uh, sleepover, to be honest with you. Yeah. But um, but it was a, it was a... I mean, I remember... It was so long, I, I had the sense of picking up speed. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it wasn't just like boom, boom. It was, I could feel myself picking, picking yeah. up speed. And the regret, you know what I mean? And just that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, trying to maintain control. so that you Were you the first roll. one to do it? Oh, I was probably the, I was not the last one to do it. I ain't no wuss. <laughs> <laughs> but I was not the first one that did it. I can guarantee you that. The, the last kid. Chris, come on. <laughs> come Chris. on. Chris. We all did it. We're all fine. And then yeah. Chris, of course, <laughs> falls and hits the ground and breaks his leg. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> would you? Why'd you do that? <laughs> and then my face. You ruined it for all of us. <laughs> Everybody's yelling at him. He's like, I just wanted to be your friend. 
Poor Chris. What's your first thing? Also, how was that? 20 feet? Oh, yeah, it was probably 20 feet, yeah. which is, you know, as far as I want to go. Now, that's when I was like 10, so yeah. I couldn't do that today. No. You know? No. You've well, added a few pounds. A couple. That would, yeah. when, when, I, uh, when I did uh, construction, and we, we used to work on these scaffoldings, and uh, they would get about, at the height of them, they'd get maybe seven feet yeah. high. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless you started to stack them and then right. you're higher. It was always easier just to jump off of them than to climb down. You could just go faster. You know yeah. what I mean? And so I would do that. I would just, you know, jump off of them and stuff like that. And all of the guys that were like 10 to 15 years older than me, every time every time I did it, like, you better not do that, man. Like, you're not going to do that for long. Yeah. You know? Like, Whatever. You yeah. know? Like, I'm, I'm 20. I'm indestructible. Yeah, something years old. And turn, yeah, today turn, I would climb down. Oh, t- I wouldn't even go up today. <laughs> I'd be like... I I'm not. I don't I'm need that in my that. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I jumped off of a a cabin one time, mm-hmm. and about fifteen feet. Yeah. And you know the roof. Yeah. And um, yeah. I I don't think it's all about the landing. I mean, with your rules of not being able to let your hands touch. I mean, that's... well, I think you have to make that rule. Otherwise, guys would trying to be jumped from fifty feet or something. You would definitely see death. Yeah. I think if you said you can't touch with your hands or feet. Uh-huh. It would limit the the height at which guys would jump. Yeah, I think at some point you reach them. terminal velocity, and it doesn't matter. That is true. How long does it rate, take? Do you know? It, it depends on your weight and aerodynamics. I don't know. Every mm-hmm. everything would be different. Yeah. Um, if you're like a bowling ball, if you're a big fat guy, I think yeah. you would drop pretty quick. Yeah. If you're a skinny guy that could spread out, maybe maybe you would maybe like you have like a big coat on. Yeah. Catch know? some wind. Yeah. Like pair. People have fallen. From planes and lived. I, that blows my mind. Mm-hmm. I know that's true, but holy cow. Th- can you even imagine? You just roll, man. When you hit that ground, you just roll. Yeah, tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. Yeah. I mean, I have you thought about that? Like, what you what would you do if you were falling out of a plane yeah. with no parachute? Well, I would never put myself in that position uh-huh. to begin with. Well, you've flown on a plane before, so, you know, the yeah. plane gets cut in half. And you and you sucked out the and you get hole. Sucked out the hole, and yeah. now you're just by yourself. I think you flatten out as much as you can. I would take my shirt off, you know, and try to create some sort of, oh. um, you know, kite type action with it to yeah. get some sort of, you know, forward moving motion. You know what I mean? To see if you know somehow I could navigate towards like water, tie or a hole something. in the top. Yeah. I would do you could have something like a, with clothes <laughs> to try to create some sort of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just think I would flatten myself out as much as possible. And then would you hit would last hit on your side? No, I think you would want to land on your feet and like let your knees go with you and roll with that. I uh-huh. think if you hit on your side, you just crush yourself. I think you'd want to break your legs. Because you don't want to am- damage your upper body. Yeah. That's where all the organs are. You'd want to damage your legs. Does part of you just say, head dive? I've thought about that. I just, actually have. Yeah. I mean, at this point, you know what I mean? I don't want to just... I guess it also depends where you... If you're out in the over middle... Water, and, if you, over water? Over water? I've heard, though, at a certain point, it's like hitting concrete. Yeah. But I think if you... <laughs> <laughs> pencil dive. Point your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Less surface... You know, yeah. tension. Can you know you can jump off the high dive? It feels like you go thirty feet under. Uh huh. How far under would you jump? Like if you Atlantis? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you'd find the Gungans. <laughs> Husa, are you sir? So I was driving the other day, and there was a bank that was closed down, and as. My wife and I do pretty typically when we see a building in the city that's closed down, we think about what it could be. It's always know? a coffee shop. Always a coffee <laughs> shop. <laughs> oh, that could be a coffee shop. Every single one. Yeah. That's my go to. I wonder yeah. if that could be a coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, that could be a coffee shop. <laughs> you know, the, there's parking right here. Uh-huh. I'm sure they have access to good water. Yeah, I mean, that's all you need. You don't need a you don't need a, ki- a kitchen. You know, well, you, you need like, electric. Maybe, all you need but, is electric and water. That's yeah. all you need for it. Yeah, yeah trust me. Generally. And uh, so there was a bank the other day, and it was closed down. And uh, I said, come on, 
that'd be a perfect coffee shop. Yeah. You know, and I said even the drive through thing, the suction thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could create these a coffee cup that was like airtight. Yeah. So that they could put it through the you know what I mean? It could yeah. come back. And uh Eric was like, That's ridiculous. And I'm like, I mean it's ridiculous. I mean it's definitely possible. She's like, they don't even let you put coins in there because <laughs> it can only do so much weight. Like she's yeah. like, it couldn't do that much weight. And I was like, well, okay, yeah, the ones that they have, you but could just I'm re-engineer it. I'm sure that yeah. they can they can um they could raise the level of suckiness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm sure that there's a way to whatever engine it is, like double it up or make it extra powerful right. to make it extra sucky. You know, and she's yeah. like, that's not no, they can't do that. I was like <laughs> who are you to say <laughs> to just dismiss that is the most ridiculous thing See, i think the problem is they don't want all the weight in there because when it does then you can't stop it like you suck up a thing full of quarters mm -hmm. yeah out absolutely it's, like, it's a vacuum tube but mm -hmm. it gets moving so fast at such a heavy weight it won't stop it go flying through the back end it's like, well yeah. then create a stronger back end we'll see that's yeah spring-loaded Listen, I'm just Something. saying the tubes are already there. Yeah, for me, listen, that's a yeah. big, big amount of the work, yeah. you know. Now, obviously, the kind of cup, you know what I mean? You're going to have to. You want something that screws together. This is going to. I'm yeah. not saying that you can just put a McDonald's coffee cup in a yeah. in a, in a a United Federal Credit Union bank thing. That's and not just... going to work out well. I, yeah. I don't think that. No. I don't think that. Follow do the do science. Like stupid. <laughs> But just to, just, just when I say, well, they can just, if it's not sucky enough, that they can make it extra sucky. You know what yeah. I mean? They can find a way to increase the suckiness level. Yeah. And uh, she's like, well, no, they can't. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I missed the part where you went to science school for this <laughs> because, I mean, we, we landed a man on the moon, maybe, but we, we, <laughs> we, you know, we've done a lot. Yeah. As a society, I think, yeah. I really, th I'm not saying I know how to do it. I'm not right. saying if you put me in there that, that I could engineer it and, you yeah. know, I'm not saying I could do it. I'm saying somebody can do it. Yeah. You know, there's a way this can be done. 100%. And why don't I want donut holes and a, and a coffee in a sucky tube? Thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, why yeah. don't I want that? Yeah. You know, and, and maybe just, it's a kiosk. Where if you you know if you're going through that one, you just have very few options, mm. and you can just pay for it there. And you like just, a black coffee. Yeah, black coffee donut holes. You know what I mean? Boom, boom, and then they can just send it to you. Yeah. You know, like if you want to get specialized stuff or more than like breakfast stuff or special drinks. Yeah, well, the bank has the thing that you know goes the drawer. Yeah, or you could go in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are other ways that you could get it. But yeah. if if all you want is a black coffee or a coffee with two creams and two sugars, you know, and a couple of donut holes. You go through that thing, boom, 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 boom. We're done. I like it. Just saying. Is that your first thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. My second thing, last night, this phrase is just funny to me. When, this is another one of my kids' sayings. They said last night, apparently they get home from school. Shelby's at the house. And... Teddy and Gus, and Gideon was there too, but um, Teddy and Gus are very happy. Teddy specifically, he's like, it's Friday, it's Friday. You know, it's Pizza Friday. And Gus goes, this was his exact words, Teddy, be quiet. Pizza Friday doesn't always come true. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a it's a wish, oh, like, man. you know, rubbing a lamp or... You know, know. coins so, in a fountain. Sounds like something like an orphan would say. Yeah, pizza, Teddy, <laughs> be quiet. Pizza Friday doesn't always come true. <laughs> like Teddy is the new kid in the orphanage, and yeah, Gus right. has been around for a while. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen do we Ted. do pizza a lot of Fridays? Yes, <laughs> but Pizza Friday doesn't always come true. And it's almost like the more you talk about it, like yes. you don't talk about Pizza Friday. That's the first rule of Pizza Friday. You don't talk about Pizza Friday. Do you have any other days of the week that go with foods? No. Um, Tuesday nights we do church. And so a lot of times it's fast food. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just drive through something or peanut butter and jelly. Like just making it. Because we're not sitting down. You know, we're on the go. Um, that's our Tuesday. But apart from that, 
it's free game, mm. whatever. We, for like two weeks, we had a really good, you know, we're going to do, you know, this, you know. On this on, day, on yeah, this, yeah. On this day. And for like two or maybe three weeks, it worked out really. And the kids like liked it. They were yeah. really looking forward to it. But, uh, man, it was hard to keep up. It's a lot of work. If you're busy yeah. at all. If yeah. all I did was like work nine to five and didn't do anything else. You're right. It would be simple. Right. Like, but, you know, turns out couldn't make it happen. So, yeah. A lot of times, but the kids are getting older, which is great. So we can just say, fend for yourself, figure it out. We got yeah. food, you know? Yeah. No, we do that. Uh, we started buying, I tried one. I didn't like it as well, but, um, it's a little macaroni and cheese dish. Mm-hmm. It's a self, like a one serve. Mm-hmm. So you just put the water in there, put it in the microwave for like a minute, mm-hmm. pull it out, stir it. Good to go. The, the, the kids, especially the girls like the uh, cup of noodles bowl. Oh yeah. She, Stella, you do that sometimes, right? Or is that the ramen? Well, not the cup of noodles. Yeah. She does ramen a lot. Yeah. Michaela loves ramen, yeah. too. And and now I've got an electric kettle. So they don't yeah. even have to like... Bo- I mean, right. it's just like they turn it on and yeah. pour it in and boom, it's it's good to go. I mean, I'm sure there's like nothing good in there for you yeah. at all. Yeah. But, you know, they'll yeah. figure that out when they get older. Yeah. You know, or they yeah. won't. Or they I won't. I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. What's your second thing? Well, I, I think I'd like to move on to our Netflix suggestion of the week. Okay. <laughs> Netflix, Netflix, watch these shows of the world. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Netflix, Netflix, I watch these shows with us. Netflix, Netflix, or maybe Hulu Plus. Or maybe Amazon Prime or something like that, like YouTube. Or we don't want to put a box around what you watch, so you never know. I found the Lazarus thing on a uh, website that had seven stores in Columbus uh, that if you grew up, you re- that aren't around anymore, that you'll remember. Let's see how many you remember. Cub Foods. <sighs> Do you remember Cub Foods? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> I'd, have gone, I'd have gone the rest of my life and never thought about Cub Foods. Big Bear. Oh, yeah. Sean Steens. Mm-hmm. That's still around, isn't it? I don't think so. Buckeye Mart? Don't remember that one. I don't know that one. Golden Circle? No. Hearts? Oh, yeah. I don't remember Hearts. Yeah. Lazarus? Uh, yeah. Here in Marion, we had Hills Department Store. I don't remember Cub. I mean, I remember Cub Foods. I yeah. just, that's. Yeah. Huh. It was on uh, Cleveland Avenue. There used to be more things. Now there are less things and yeah. more of the less things. <laughs> yes. Does yeah. that make sense? Uh huh. 100%. There's a Dollar General everywhere. You can't throw a rock without hitting a Dollar, dollar General. That is true. Mm-hmm. That's a true statement. Mm-hmm. Every Everywhere. Yeah. Um, they're government subsidized, subsidized. I believe that. Did you see the... Have you seen the Dollar General uh, warehouse like off in Morrow County that's new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the size of an airport. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. What's your Netflix suggestion of the week? My... Netflix suggestion of the week brought to you by Disney Plus. Mandalorian. Season two is out. We're two episodes in. Yeah. I assume you've watched them both. I have. I, On the day. Friday. Um, I was not. I had uh, some in-laws in town. Mm. and um, Not Mandalorian people? No. Yeah. No. And in fact, uh, so my uh, nieces and nephew were with them. And uh, my nephew is and he really likes it uh but while he my, also likes the show yeah he does like the show hey yeah. ian how you doing so uh while we were um while they were there they were helping us redo our bathroom our bathroom was in desperate need of repair and so i appreciate it i make fun but i appreciate yeah. what you know all of that and um so uh i i was you know busy helping with that and so i'm going in and out of the bathroom a lot to the garage to get a tool or, you know, just a lot of back and forth. 
And when I come back, Ian is watching The Mandalorian in the living room. I haven't seen it yet. No. I was like, sorry, no. Oh. And he's like, what do you mean? And I was like, you can't watch this. He's like, I thought you liked Mandalorian. I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen it, man. Like, <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to walk in and see something. You know what I mean? Like, right. watch like, you know, like, yeah. no, I'm not going right. to, I don't want to see Timothy, Timothy Oliphant as Boba Fett, like yeah. before I'm ready, right. you know? So, um, he, he was a little upset yeah. that I stick by my, I was like, you take your iPad How in the other room he? and watch it. Uh, 12, well, he's Abby's age. Okay. I mean, 11 or 12. Okay. You know, it's like devastating for. He was like, but he had already seen it too. Oh, and he's like, yeah. what? and it's like, I no, yeah, I, you can't, you can't do this. <laughs> my house, my <laughs> rules. Yeah. yeah, I'll let you watch. Man, turn on Braveheart or something. Like yeah. whatever you want to watch. R rated. I don't care. I got, I got no problem yeah. with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what do you think of uh, Mandalorian so far? Oh, fantastic. I love it. I love it. I I love how they're going about these are all standalone. It's Boy, they not, sure are. It's not a drama. It's not a continuation. They only seem interested in... Creatures, monsters. Well, they do love that. Yeah. I was going to say, they only seem interested in creating questions and never answering them. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I don't know. It just feels like there are so many like things have, have you, out you're there. You're all caught up. Mm-hmm. Okay. It just feels like there's so many things out there that you want to know like the what? answer to. Like what? I don't know. It's like I love I love everything about it. It's great. Well, I love it. Yeah. I do love it. But like that first episode, I thought, oh, okay, you know, yeah, Boba Fett. Okay, so or or to be Jango Fett, Jango Fett. I think it's Boba Fett. But, but yeah. So okay, so he did die in the Sarlacc pit, and the he climbed out, and he. Well, no, before you saw him at the end. Okay, just keep going. I'm just saying with care. the armor, I yeah, thought, yeah. okay, so somehow the Jawas got the armor from yeah. the Starlight Pit. Right. And then they sold it. Okay, now that makes sense. Right. So, okay, so that's that's over. You know, we're not going to see him in it. And then the end of those episode, you see him standing there. Yeah. So I'm like, well, what? I don't understand. <laughs> and now... They're just going away, so they're going to come back there another day. You yeah. know, they're going to come back to Tatooine. Come back around. So, but I do love it. If I have one complaint about the first episode, I can only take so much of listening to the Sand People talk. That was a little more Sand People language than I want to hear. Oh uh, yeah, it sounds like somebody's throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just yeah. like, it literally, I'm just, you know, it's interesting a little bit. Yeah. But like, I didn't think sometimes it was the Mandalorian yeah. talks in English and then does the hand signals. Right. And sometimes he, you know what I mean? So, well, I think it's both. I'd prefer he just always do the hand signals and talk. I don't think anybody would call him on that. I don't think anybody would be like, well, wait a minute. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't do that. You know? I think it's both. I'm just saying, that was a bit much for me. I liked it. I liked everything about it. I think it's great. I love Mandalorian. I I love it too. It it was, um, if if I'm being critical, and you know I I loved it. So yeah. I, I mean I I don't know that I would change anything. To me, it's an, it's an A plus. Yeah. It's the my favorite Star Wars thing. It is my favorite Star Wars thing too. It I I, I like the fact, and I heard John Favreau say that instead of studying the old John. Williams, I'm not touch on Williams. George Lucas, Star Wars, the movies that inspired Star Wars. We decided we, right. yeah, and so old samurai movies and old western movies right. and old sci-fi movies. And you can see that by watching it. So my only quibble would be that the whole riding into town thing was a little on the, on the nose. It was just a little too much on the nose of the Western, the guy riding yeah. into town, yeah. the bar, yeah. the you know what I mean. They were all they were missing was the swinging doors yeah. into the. Bar. I don't care. I love it. Yeah, it was great. It's I'm an not, old mining town. I I know. I I know. I know. I know. I loved it. I I really did. I'm just trying yeah. to you know. Be I think fair. it's great. I and I love the monsters, the sand shark, oh, dragon thing, and yeah, the spiders, so cool. and the last one. I love it. I, I love everything about it. I love Yo, um, Baby Yoda eating the eggs. <laughs> I know. I mean, <laughs> well, you know, it was funny because he was like, you know, looking at the eggs and I was sitting by Michaela and yeah. uh, and I said, why do you think he's so interested in the eggs? 
And she said, it's probably because they're babies and he's like a baby. Yeah. And I was like, no, he wants to eat those. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I got it immediately. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And she's like, whatever, you know. I was like, okay. And then all of a it's sudden. It's kind of an ongoing. All of a sudden yeah. when he, eat, <laughs> he eats one, she was like. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's I funny. thought it was funny. The egg eating thing yeah. was, uh, was pretty funny. He's like, there, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a chance? Yeah. Is there a chance that we find out that baby Yoda is evil? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so. But You think that's what's going to happen? I, I don't know. I don't think so. That whole egg thing made me think, like, this guy's got no conscience. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, he's just eating these. This is the last of this woman's. And it's kind of weird. The whole species. The whole, yeah. Right? <laughs> He's just popping these <laughs> eggs. I don't care. They're tasty. Disgusting, too. Uh, eggs are eggs. That whole spider thing, Erica yeah. was losing it. Yeah, so. Shelby was, too. Well, that's a show, Jason. What's your Netflix suggestion of the week? Well, I, I was going to make it something, but it was going to be my whole thing that I was going to talk about. Are you going to save it? Yeah. Okay. I will say this. Frazier. Stop. Nobody wants to hear that again. I do think this. I watched Frasier last night, so. I believe you. Mm -hmm. I think this was my third thing or my second thing. I don't know whatever we got to. We can do it next week. It's a short thing, though. Is well, there, you got I got like 30 seconds. 15 seconds. Dude, that's so. like a long time. Netflix. When you watch something on Netflix, a lot of times. By the way, I see the stuff that you're watching. You've been watching more stuff. I don't understand. Man. Yeah. It's messing up my feed. Go to someone else's. Watch it on Stella's or something. All right. Stop watching it online. There's all sorts of things. Are just now up. that your feed knows what I like, it's just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> What's is there like the gambit? The yeah, the Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit. Yeah, I haven't. I was I was going to watch it, and all of a sudden it's like season two, episode three. I'm like, what? <laughs> Who's watching this? Oh yeah, Dan has my account. That's a, that's I'll, a show. This is Dan signing off for Jason, reminding you to always keep your stick on the ice and never wear the blue sweat. Sit, boo, boo, sit. Good dog. I've spoken.